Hello and welcome to Process Management with Visio 2016. And here we'll draw business process in Visio uh, diff in different styles. It's going to be BPMN, it's going to be timeline, it's going to be brainstorm. So let's get started. I fire up my Visio 2016 and I'm going to find template BPMN. BPMN it's, is how you can draw any business process you want. So I'm going to choose the blank one. And on the left hand side, I can find shapes. And my first shape is going to be pool. Pool is like a business process boundaries. I will have one pool and another one connected with it. So I have a double pool. Let me fit it to my page. So here we go. And let me add another one pool. And let me align it to others. So my first pool is going to be webinar check-in. That's my major pool. Next here is a help desk site, business process for help desk here for owner of webinar and here's for customer so now we have three pools and let's draw business process first we have to start it so i'm gonna start process for customer and it's gonna be registered to webinar Okay, and it's going to be task. The next task will be send a request. For access. Let's start this process from help desk side. In the help desk side, it's gonna be a receive a request from customer. All right. Let's add owner side. From owner side, it's gonna be a validation of owner. And we we we'll let one more shape it's gonna be uh, access code generation access code generation all right so let's connect our help desk to our access code so send access code to customer for help desk is going to be the last event so it, i will add end event here and one more task for customer it will be activate access code and that's it for customer so i will add end event So here we go. It's only shapes, but it doesn't have any connections. They they don't have any connection. So let's add some connection lines. And the first will be sequence flow. Flow. I will connect my first shape, this and second shape, with second sequence flow. And my second with third. And the last for customer, I connect my third shape with end. That's it for customer, from customer perspective. Then I will connect my help desk and 
help desk with owner. Let me draw the line. Here we go. Few more lines. Here. And access code generation with send access code. Sometimes it can be tricky to find this spot. Here we go. And now I want to connect a send access code with the with the end. Okay. But I have to show message flow how customer communicate with help desk. So it's gonna be another shape, message flow, and send the request and receive an access code is gonna be message flow. Uh, we're almost done. Let's make it more attractive. So I will add some graphics, some colors to my shapes really quickly. So we do it with green. Let me format, let me choose a style and fill it with green. All right. It's going to be green too. Here will be red. And let me choose my format painter. Here. Here and here. That's it. And let me paint my end request with, with blue. So here we go. It's going to be blue. It's going to be blue here. And it's going to be blue here. That's it. But um, I had a mistake here. Oh, let me choose black here and white here. I have a mistake here. Um, my owner val validation have to have a sub process. Sub process. So it's, it's not going to be just one task. It's going to be a link to another another page, another, another process. So let me remove it. Let me remove it this connection and let me add sub process let me add sub process and let me show these lines sequence flow here we go here we go it can be tricky sometimes okay and one more flow. All right, it's a little bit uneven. I will name it the same, the same owner validation. And that's it. Now I have to, I have to create sub process. So I'll go to another page. Rename it to main and owner validation. And make a brand new process. So I drag another pool really quickly. I will call it owner validation or just validation. And I can add more shapes for this process. Like start, event, tasks, and multi-choice. I didn't want to spend spend time for uh, manual creation, so I paused the video 
and already did it. And last, I want to create a hyperlink to my second deck for my sub process. I choose sub, sub address, owner validation, and that's it. I have a hyperlink from my owner validation shape to my page. That's it. So let's try something else. It's going to be brainstorming. It's going to be brainstorming. So I will type it in a search pane. There we go. Brainstorm diagram. Brainstorm diagram, it's, it's a mind map. It's a mind map when you can find lots of shapes to create an ideas, to fix an ideas, to have a connections between ideas. So my top topics, my main topics, my brainstorm topic is going to be HTC, HTS Visio, how to sell Visio. And it has subtopics like marketing, technical, and sales. I click OK. And then I want to add subtopics to my topics. My first subtopic for technical is going to be assessment. The next one will be implementations. And that's it for technical, but let me change the template for my subtopics. I want to change topic shape, for instance, to oval or I like freehand. Let me choose freehand. And here we go. Now I will add some topics to marketing, add multiple subtopics, webinars, blog posts, and promotions. Here we go. Choose a type of shapes, freehand, all right, and sales. I'll add some, some subtopics for sales. It's like motivation and self-education. So here we go. Change topic shape. And we're all set. That's it. So here we have a brainstorm diagram. It's like my mind map. And let's try it. The last one is going to be timeline. Timeline is how to show a process and all milestones of this process. So I'll type timeline and find template for timeline. Timeline, metric units, and here we go. I have stencils, shapes on the left hand side. I will choose timeline, choose a period of time, it's going to be from the 1st of May till 1st of April, sorry, so 1st of July, not April. Here we go, we have two months time timeline. Next I want to add some milestones. So I add some milestones. It's going to be SQL Server implementation. On the 1st of June, it will be SQL Server 2016G. I add a milestone. That's it. That's our milestone. And before this G, we should test it. We should test it in a preview version. So I add more miles, milestones. My new milestone. We begin testing. 
OK. And we also should test compatibility. So add more milestone. Here we go. Test compatibility. That's it. And after GA, we should start piloting. All right, start piloting. And at the end of the month, it's going to be our end of piloting. Let me align it. Okay. That's it. That's our uh, timeline. But what if I want to uh, detail some period, not the whole period, just detail, d detail a little period. And here I want to add extended timeline from our 1st of June to our 6th of June. Let's try 1st of June to 6th of June. Here we go, and our scale will be days. So here we have connected timeline to our period, to our period of time, and here I wanna, I wanna add a new milestone, new milestone here. It's gonna be team review. Here we go. I call it team review. So that's it. We have a timeline here with extended period of time. I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.